Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM user exits. So in today's session we will see what is pre-merge, pre-unmerge user exit and where to use this pre-unmerge user exit. So pre-merge uh, pre-merge user your pre-merge or pre-unmerge user exit and post unmerge user exit both the user exits are part of the unmerge process so the flow of the unmerge process is like this we register the unmerge job once it is registered the pre-unmerge user exit get executed then the the records which are going to be on merge that will be executed as a block so the very first record will be get unmerged then the post unmerge user exit will be executed then the second record will be processed for the unmerge subsequently third fourth and the nth record will be executed for the un unmerge and corresponding post unmerge user exit will be executed the finally the last unmerge uh, record will happen and the post unmerge user exit will be executed finally the change will be committed again the it will check whether the any other block available for the unmerge if it is available the same process start executed again and the finally if there is no block available then it will the end the unmerge job the same sequence of execution is explained in this pro in this slide the user exit run within the unmerge process in the following sequence first informatica mdm hub register the unmerge job second the pre-unmerge user exit runs third informatica mdm hub unmerges the first record of the first block then the first then then the post unmerge user exit runs the next step is nothing but the how subsequent record get processed informatica mdm hub repeats step three and four for the remaining records in the block. Finally, Informatica MDM Hub commits the changes. If the Informatica MDM has more blocks to unmerge, the process return to the step three. And here the step three nothing but Informatica MDM Hub unmerges the record. Finally, the unmerge job ends after Informatica MDM Hub process all the blocks. So when to use the unmerge user exit that is pre unmerge user exit so in order to achieve or perform the custom processing before the unmerge job or unmerge process we have to use pre unmerge user exit for example manipulate unmerge records before getting unmerged the unmerge pre unmerge user exit interface is com.informatica.mdm.userexit pre unmerge user exit method one which we we want, we need to override is the name of the method is process user exit which accept first parameter as a user exit context and second parameter is a set of unmerge key unmerge is one more class in the mdm 10 your user exit jar file so this method returns void as a return type so let's have a demo through the our Eclipse and the MDM hub. Before that, we should know what is the model we are going to use. So the model is very simple, customer and the address, which is associated with the cust ID. And uh, till this now, uh, we don't have the, any code. So th the code we are going to write is look like this, pre and merge user exit. Here, what we are going to do we are going to implement pre unmerge user exit interface in our class our class name is mdm pre unmerge ue so how to create in order to create any class just right click on the package new and this class give the class name as mdm pre unmerge ue you can give any other na name also create a logger instance by passing the class name then override the process user exit method as I explained in the PowerPoint presentation which accept the user exit context and the set of the unmerge key. We will see shortly what unmerge key 
consist of so we are first returning the table name and we are logging some information after that we are checking whether the unmerged key set is null or not if it is not null then we are retrieving and processing through the iterator here the unmerged key instance will be available and it will contain the two values pk source and the row id system and we are going to print this pk source and row id system as a record in one of the file the name of file is unmerged.txe so whenever we successfully execute this job it should generate a unmerged.txe file at this given location so for now we don't have that unmerged dot txt file so let's see uh, we are using the io api from the java see here that is file writer and the buffer writer now we need to run the all the jobs such as stage job load job then we have to also run the generate the tokens then run the merge so these are the basic requirement or the prerequisite before running the merge or the unmerge so we already run the merge so in order to run the merge there are two process one is auto merge and the manual merge auto merge we can uh, do three uh, we can do using this auto merge job a manual merge we done through this merge manager now we are going to unmerge the records by using the data manager so in order to unmerge the record we have to go to the data manager select the customer select the put package and then execute this job now i can see there is only one record but there are in the cross reference there are two record one with the cust id one and second is a with the cust id two so that means these two records get merged and the final record is we need nothing but the row id object two in order to unmerge this record we have here at the right side a unmerge button so whenever you click that unmerge button the records will be get unmerged and in this base object there will be two records so let's click on that button and see what happens so one pop-up came and it is saying do you want to unmerge this record we have to click s yes because we want to unmerge so it is saying base object record one and two were unmerged successfully so that means now in this uh, view we should able to see both the records so now when i click the reload button i can see both the records so each record has a corresponding one cross reference record the most important part is we should able to see the both the files now i can see the unmerged file also and here the pk source is one and row id system is crm so that means the record got unmerged with the row, uh, pk source id one if you want to see the logs one which you write in the log file using this log.info or any log.debug whatever our business implementation you can go to the server log files and you can load those and you can see those uh, the logs inside this log file if you have any questions i think we have covered about the pre merge user exit pre pre unmerge user exit if you have any questions about the informatic mtm user exit idd or safe you can mention in the video below you can subscribe my channel as well for the more updates thank you for watching the video